Agriculture experts and researchers are in Lethbridge for the Canadian Symposium on Remote Sensing. The main topic of discussion, how to use technology to help feed a growing world population. Quinn Keenan has more. The use of technology in farming continues to rise with every growing season. These innovations have helped farming to become even more efficient. The Remote Sensing Symposium gave the opportunity to talk about these latest advancements. Yeah, it's fantastic to see um, kind of cross-sector and the number of, of young professionals and students and researchers in this space all coming together to share ideas. Often people are working in silos on some of these projects, so it's really, really great to get everyone together talking about what they're working on. Improvements on satellite imagery have had a huge impact on efficiency. These images allow producers to better evaluate crop health, soil moisture and more. That data can be used to make decisions on things like irrigation, fertilization and pest control. Um, and then there's been a, a real increase in the resolution from various satellites. So um, we're working with satellites now at, at 25 centimeters, 50 centimeters. So you can, do, you can do a lot of imaging at that high resolution. These advancements have helped give rise to precision farming. The practice has helped to save farmers money by only applying inputs where needed and cuts down on food waste. That, that, that challenge overarching uh, what's called precision agriculture and how to improve yields and productivity within a field. And I think what uh, the conversation needs to shift from is overall improving uh, yield productivity to um, being more efficient and effective in how those yields are applied. All these advancements will be needed as the world population grows rapidly. It's expected there will be 9.7 billion people on Earth by 2050. All those extra mouths to feed means farming will have to become even more efficient. Currently, agriculture <laughs> occupies a lot of our land base. Um, and it has problems, right? We have nutrients that run off the land. It goes into our rivers. Um, nutrient blooms. Um, how can we minimize the, the inputs of, those, uh, of that and still get the same um, outputs? Quinn Keenan. CTV News, Lethbridge.